In this video, we will see how a random alphanumeric captcha is being generated using JavaScript and clicking on generate captcha button, uh, random uh, alphanumeric values will be generated. So let's watch it out. Hi, welcome to JavaScript interview question series. In today's video, we are going to discuss how we can actually generate a random alphanumeric captcha using JavaScript. Captcha, as you might already know that it is widely used in locking forms. And generating this particular random alphanumeric uh, captcha, it might be required in each and every project where there is a login form or where there are any other forms where we have to uh, manually enter the uh, alphanumeric captcha and we have to prevent the robotic entries. So let's see how we can actually generate this random uh, captcha. For that, I have an index.html. In that, I have a form, okay, form name random generator. In this form, I have a button and an H4. And there is an input type button, okay, and uh, the value is generate captcha, and there is a click event. In that on click event, I am calling in method uh, generate random, which we, which we are going to write. And in the H4, okay, in the H4, we will be displaying the captcha, okay, and it is having an ID random care, and in the inner HTML, we will be providing the value that is generated from the generate random. So let's see how the UI looks currently. So this is the uh, uh, UI, okay. So we, if we click on generate captcha, we have to uh, present the uh, captcha to the user, okay. So right now the uh, generate random method is not defined. So we have to go ahead and write that method. So let's see how we can actually uh, write the uh, generate random method, okay. So for that, I am writing a, so a function needs to be uh, written. Uh, generate random okay so this is the generate random function in that we have to have a uh, alphanumeric captcha okay so i have uh, copied the uh, cars for that it is having values from 0 to 9 for the numeric and uh, uh, for the alphabets i have uh, a to z in caps and a to z in small so it will be a combination of number uh, caps alphabet or small uh, alphabet okay in first we have to define okay so first we have to define uh, the length of the captcha okay so what length the captcha has to be uh, defined so currently i am putting it as 7 you can update it later as well and you have to uh, store the result okay store the result uh, value so i am putting it as result okay so now we have to iterate through the uh, string length okay so first for that we will put i equal to 0 and i should be less than string length and we have to increment i so what we have to do here is uh, we have to uh, get the random number right so let rand number so how we will do that is so in math operator it provides a random functionality okay so random uh, method is there that we will actually multiply by uh, cars length okay so it will be a random number so uh, this math.random returns uh, a value between 0 and 1 so there can be decimal and so we have to get the integer out of this multiplication so for that we can use the floor method so right now floor will be actually producing like if it is 10.4 it will give uh, 10 so it will give the numeric value so we have that uh, random number generated and once we have this random number generated on the result string okay we will actually concatenate the uh, substring of cars okay so we'll do the cars substring in the substring we have to provide the starting and ending position so we'll provide random number that has been generated using the uh, random method by math operator and we have to end that in the substring okay so we will do that plus one so it will take uh, one value from that so we have uh, add concatenating that value to the result so this is our uh, result will be having all the latest concatenated value and the maximum length it will be seven okay so now now that we have that uh, uh, generate random has created that so what we will do is document dot uh, get element by id so we have to get the h4 id okay so h4 id what is the h4 id you have to check that and it is random care okay so we have put random care okay 
okay so whatever it we can you can uh, put according to your choice so inner html in that we will uh, give the result so let's see uh, so that's it for generate random okay and this is like uh, document dot get dom uh, project uh, doc dom is providing get element by id we will be getting the id and in html you can uh, pass the value okay so let's see uh, whether it is getting generated or not okay so it is not getting generated okay so we have to refresh that okay so now you can see uh, random uh, captures are getting generated on click of uh, generate capture so this is as simple as that and you can uh, actually in real time scenario actually it will be like a refresh button okay or you can set a timeout like if after a certain time you have to uh, generate this particular random or a refresh button where you can click the refresh button and the random uh, captcha can be generated so that's it for today's video thanks a lot for watching mm -hmm.